Hi YouTuber, welcome back. So, it's a beautiful day today in California. So I picked today because it's not so hot. It's not, well, it's not warm enough. And then this, my lotus here last year does really well, but you can tell it's root bound because you see the dirt. And because the weather has been nice, some of them start to grow. So I am, I am tra uh, dividing, not transplanting, dividing this, this, or these two right here. Because look at that, it, it start growing and the dirt is right here, see? But I'm not gonna do this. This is what I'm gonna do, I am gonna do next. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you tipped over. See, look at this. So this is what, four year old plant? Yeah, four and going to five. So when you tip this tub over, this is what it looks like. You ready? What it look like. So today we are going to divide it. So I'm gonna show you the best uh, thing that you can take out without breaking this new growth. You're breaking the new growth, that's it. Oh, this one, this one's good. See, after you take it out, Make sure you have a bucket of water ready to put in your tuber. I'm going to send this to my friend, uh, the Ross Life, Rural Life with the Rost. That's what it is. You can check out her channel too. So I'm going to send a couple big ones to her. And this is definitely going to be flowering this year. So. After you take this off, you put it in here. But this is, I'm going to show what it looks like. This is the end result that I um, take it. I'm sure there's some good one in here, but it's too much for me. And then, do you see this right here? This is, this is one I break, the one that... It doesn't have new growth, but you know what? I find that if you put this in the water, just in a bucket of water, you might see some growth too. So we'll see. So I'm not going to completely throw this away yet. I'm just going to put it in the tub of water when it's warm and I see new growth I might have missed. And then I'm going to cut it up. But I'm going to show you. So this is what... This is thrown away, and then this one, I know. Uh, dividing water lotus, it's not fun. Oh, by the way, what you need is a knife, a sharp knife. Where did I put it? Oh, somewhere here. Okay, here it is. Okay. When you do this, you're going to need a sharp knife. Okay, and then um, let's start. So today, I'm going to show you how to transplant a root-bound water lotus. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay, so I am going to divide it, this, this root, uh, lotus plant that I picked over. But first, I'm going to wash, I'm going to wash all the dirt and then I want to see as much tuber. Do you notice that it grows around the bucket, not in the middle? Look at that, nothing in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to take this out without very little damage. And while you get this, you can get a bucket of water. This is ready. So, you put this up water for more. Okay. 
and you pull it gently. Oh, the tip was too long. I broke it. Well, there's another one coming. another one to see so you gotta pull it gently No good. Here we go. One, two loop holes. Perfect cutting. So what you do is trying to clear it. No. Oh. Okay. Nope. No good. No. No. No girls. Garbage. Garbage. Okay. Rot. A lot of rot this one. Okay. Oh, this is good. No good. Oh, look at that. This is good. Okay, you pull it like this. See? So, you just have to be gentle. Okay. Oh, I see a good one right here. Oh, 
hold this when I snap. This is no good. Okay. The small one is good. Let me wash this. See? It's good. I snapped that, but this is good. So I snapped this, but this is good right here. Okay, now you see a white, white one like this. Pull it. Be careful. Don't be. Okay. See? Oh, this is good. So. So every time you see like white healthy deep inside and you pull it, see, this is good. Okay, let me see. So I'm gonna look, this one might be good. Let me see. Okay, let's see. I snapped it. Okay. No good. Okay, let me see this side. Nope. No. Oh, this one. Okay. This is good. Okay. All right, I know it's messy. You got the idea of the whiting water lotus. I'm going to finish this up, and then I am going to show you my what I got, okay? Now I'm going to show you what I have. This is what, um, what I have. So I'm going to put this in a 55-gallon barrel and send some to a friend. Look at this. I snapped it. But there's a growth here. There's a growth here. And this is this is gonna survive really well. It's gonna flower to this uh, uh, summer. So here we go. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take this guy, these right here, to go get a bath because I'm gonna need a bath too. Okay, I'm done with two pots. Yes, yes, there's some casualty. I broke a whole bunch of them and it happened. Uh, but that's all right. So here is my second bucket. And then there's an extra one here. So let me tell you about dividing water lo uh, lotus. When you're done, you're going to need a bath. And my friend over there is going to need a bath too. So as soon as we go inside, I'm going to give them a bath because they're all over right here with me. So I have one, two, three, four. Four more to go to transplant. But um, I'm going to deal with this first. Okay, so after I took all the tuber out from my root bound 
uh, lotus. These are the tubers I have, and I'm going to transplant it into this 355 gallon barrel. So um, here's the dirt. I'm gonna put about dirt up to here, and then I'm going to uh, show you how to do it. But I'm gonna do it in this small container here. The reason it's just too hot for me to show you in, into that 55 gallon barrel. Okay, here, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I have this pot here. Then I'm gonna put some dirt inside. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Look like in here, but I'm gonna show this to you. Then I have my tuber, and then just kind of like this. See, like that. See that? That's what is. That's what it's gonna look like inside here. But I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Now, I'm going to fill out this 55 gallon of dirt first and put the tuber in. When I'm done, I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to make a hole here like this. Okay. There we go. And cover it like that easy so i got this one that doesn't fit into the pot i don't like to cut it where the node is at but i'm going to try to cut it as close as i can to fit into the pot let's see if this is fits now okay i'm going to take you down <clears throat> see it fits okay see. No, still not fit okay well there's no note here so I'm gonna have to cut it closer like this like that okay I'm gonna I have a couple more but it won't fit okay maybe this one okay this one the note is big oh oh this one's still good and there's no growth here so what I'm gonna do is get that Cut it like this. Like that. See? Okay. Okay. I gotta go get a big container for this one. Okay. Okay. So, after you, um, putting your tuber inside your pot. I, I happen to do this because I'm submerging this into another pot. So I'm having a pot on a pot. So I'm gonna show you closer. Okay, here we go. The most important thing is you don't want a tuber to float out. So gently.
close that. If the tuba float out later on, you can just take uh, something else, like a rock or something, to put on top of it. So that's why you do it gently. So I'm going to do two more and show you how I can do two more. Okay? Okay, here we go. See this one? Let me see if you can see it. Okay. Gently. Like that. Oh, I need to add more water. Okay, and one more. This tuba came off, so I'm going to pick it back up. Try to go back in gently. Fill with dirt. Okay, let's try again. And then, then you just keep an eye on it for a couple of days. It might, the tuber might float out later, but initially, if you want to, when you put your tuber in the dirt, you can put, put a rock or something. Okay, so uh, wish me luck. Oh, I'm a mess. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me, dividing a root-bound water lotus. So I, um, I'm i going to go take it back now, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.